in Ludington, Michigan. Uh, talk a little bit about it. Poncho's Pond, as you can see behind me, there's the pond. Surrounded by RVs. Very nice campground. Probably one of my wife and I's favorites up here in Ludington, Michigan. Um, gets a very good markings for big rig friendly. Um, moves, you can move your campers around pretty easy in here. Uh, the roads are wide, lots of curves. We noticed a lot of remodeling going on, adding some new cement sites, replacing some old cement sites. Really awesome. I'm going to get a little bit of a shot of the entrance. I'll show you guys some pictures and some drive in. Um, but uh, very big rig friendly, very beautiful place. We got an excellent weekend for camping up here. So uh, Ludington's always a little milder climate than down south Michigan. So if you're coming to Michigan and you want to enjoy just a little bit of cooler temperatures, usually 5, 10 degrees, Ludington is a great place to go. Easy access off the highway. So 31 north basically um, till it ends on the divided highway side. It turns into a, a just a two lane road and it will take you all the way up to Traverse City and meet back up with actually 75 by Mackinac Bridge. But the uh, actual highway ends right here in Ludington. So you get off, follow it uh, west towards the lake and you're gonna see a great big sign that says Poncho's Pond. Easy entry off the road. You make a left hand turn, you go up the road a little bit. Very easy into the park. Just all around pretty big rig friendly. The only downside I would say that we had here is there's several sites. We're on site 57 this time, which I showed you guys some pictures of that. And the sites are a little tighter than we're, we like. And um, that's really the only downgrade. Uh, Apollo ratings really high this time. He loves it. Uh, he loves the walks here. And my wife and I spent a lot of time walking around. Well, this is our first day at uh, Poncho's Pond. Definitely one of our favorite parks up here in Ludington, Michigan. We're in Site 57. These sites are a little closer together than we're used to. Back in the backside in the 300s, actually, you have a lot more room and a lot more yard, which is really nice. But man, what a view of the lake here. Unobstructed, no other campers. I'm gonna flip the camera around and kind of show you a better shot of that here. All right, come on Apollo. So site number 57, the site is really long, which is nice. So big rig size, definitely. So this is our rig from front to back here. So our rig is 44 foot long and my truck is actually 22 foot long. So together we end up just around 65 foot total. So a little bit long. We'll walk through the site. Probably the one downside to the overall site is where the fire pit is. The fire pit's actually way up here in the front, way away from the camper. But uh, far safety wise, that's probably the best place to put it. So, but take a look at that lake. Clear as glass this morning. Beautiful lake. You can see some geese there on the other side. But uh, I'm gonna take Apollo for a walk and do some pictures. Definitely Apollo approved.
well, we're checking out the dog park here at Poncho's Pond. Yeah, I say it's Apollo approved. He's actually checking it out and using it for his intended purposes over there. So not as large as Vacation Station that you saw in our last video, but still pretty good size, actually. It's running across the back of the park. Um, it's all fenced in nice, very well kept. Um, everybody's picking up after themselves, so all in all, pretty nice. Nothing like sitting around a little campfire at the end of a good camping trip. Jace, 100% agreement over there. I think I found a way to keep him from talking. Turn a video camera on it and point it at him. Well, hello everybody. Well, we're back from uh, our weekend trip up to Poncho's Pond in Ludington, Michigan. So, Poncho's Pond is really cool. Probably, like I said earlier, one of my favorite places to go. Very easy to move around in. Gets a 5 out of 5 for Big Rig Friendly. So, that is pretty awesome. The other thing is uh, the sites. About 90% of the sites are really large yards they do have some small sites we did get a small site this time so on site size i got to give them a four out of five this time so remember one is the worst five being the best so they got a four out of five that time apollo rating was also very high this time so he only gave them a four though just because the site size and the pup area was a little small so one thing, some of the amenities though, they have a lot of things to do. They have two pools, one outside pool and one inside pool. The two outside pools are together actually, and they have one family pool, and then they have one pool for all the kids to go in. So the, the family pool, or excuse me, they have a family pool and a regular pool. So the family pool is for everybody where you can play ball, play catch. The other pool is basically just for swimming. So if you don't want to be hit by a football or something like that that's a really awesome to be into um, so that was really cool so the other um, and they have a hot tub the other pool is 100% inside they have two gyms and three laundry facilities and four different bathhouses so that is pretty cool they have a lot of space to go around so um, that is really awesome so they get really high marks for their amenities um, it's really nice. So again, easy off and on, right off in 31. Follow the signs, Poncho's Pond in Ludington, Michigan. So should check it out. It's a really cool park. Um, we're going to have some watch for the upcoming videos because we're going to have uh, Halloween trick-or-treating at Poncho's Pond here coming up. We're also going to be doing a Muskegon State Park visit, which uh, is by the channel in uh, Muskegon. So we'll be highlighting that. So that's pretty cool. And then we also have um, a trip to Disney. We're going to be highlighting two things there. We're the uh, All-Star Sports Resort. We're going to give you guys a tour of the All-Star Sports Resort. My Disney videos are always a big hit. So All-Star Sports will be really cool. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to be doing our first not-so-scary Halloween party. So uh, look to see how my wife and I are dressed up and the kids. So we'll get a surprise, of course. It'll be Disney characters. You know, what else do you expect, right? So, uh, if you like this video, hit like and subscribe here on the bottom. And uh, it does help. It does make a difference. So, help me move up in the ratings and grow my site. Hit subscribe and like. You guys have a great afternoon. And we will be seeing you on our next trip.